Hello everyone, my name is Arcanic Rose and welcome to Freshwater Frenzy, the Mega Aquarium expansion that just released today as I record this and probably today as you see it. So, as you may know, I do have a vanilla campaign let's play going on. It has 10 scenarios, we're on 7 so we're gonna probably have uh, three more so that will take a few episodes however thanks to a generous donation I did uh, get freshwater frenzy and that has its own campaign so I think we can just have both going on right more mega aquarium content yes so let's go and start with Hitama Welcome to Hitama. The owner of this small saltwater aquarium wants to explore the exciting new world of freshwater exhibits and they need your help. As you design their new displays, you will learn the subtle differences between saltwater and freshwater care. As you proceed, you will need to complete various tasks to increase the selection of freshwater animals available to you. Only then will you be able to grow Hitama to an aquarium renowned for both its saltwater and freshwater exhibit so we have what i think is a new paint style this uh, nice little gray uh, paint and a few simple tasks so your first task the owner has already secured access to two freshwater species your first task is to build a tank to house them complete the objective and open the aquarium when you're ready so we will have a toggle in the fish thingy uh, which that explains so let's go there and here we go this is the freshwater toggle that shows us only uh, freshwater fishies so our first two are a guppy and a convict uh, cichlid I think that's uh, how you say it and this one either wants to be alone in the pair or in a group of four. That's such weird requirements. While the guppy is nibbleable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poor thing. That tail gonna be nibble is a wimp. And is also a shoulder. Can they be housed together? They do seem to have similar requirements. So you get a pair of each so that would be six uh at least a 10 tank and well they did put that space there but not exactly it's, uh, it's not exactly the the best place so let's take a look they have a scum in here and they have a, a loop already going around there no guest facilities, which uh, okay, not not great, but uh, yeah, we can start with something. Let's do at least a three by three tank, wall tank. That should let that's tw eh, that's way big. Maybe we can do the twenty. I mean, it's uh, more space than we need, but why not? So let's put in two of these. Oh, and the floor immediately changes to fresh water, like uh, little river pebbles and stuff. That is super neat. At least I, I think it is. Uh, let's also put in two guppies. And we're going to have to meet their requirements. I accidentally made that a high priority, that's fine. So to meet their requirements, we are going to need some space there and you know a power combi over there that's going to, that's fine because combis combis are good uh, and now we get a blood worm Ugh, that does not sound good and a brine shrimp dispenser Okay, so those are good enough to feed the fish. You're going to need some plants and we have new stuff that is actually appropriate for them. We're going to add this nice little flower 
Oh. More than one? Yeah, at least two. Just to give it a little bit of a, a nice look. And finally a staff door over there. So that guests won't come in and see this. Now, in previous uh, updates, uh, because this has come to vanilla guests, wouldn't mind seeing the feeding things or the toolboxes. They now do. Now they really do mind that. Uh, so, yeah, we gotta keep a look on that. We do have a staff, higher additional staff, that's optional. They're only for feeding, so... I'm pretty sure that that's going to be a you win kind of thing. Oh no, there's more. Uh, so, yeah, okay. You will be feeding, mostly. Um, open your aquarium! There we go, if we're, we're open. Great work, you just built your first of many freshwater tanks. As you can see, building freshwater tanks is a lot like building saltwater ones. However, there are some differences. For example, you may have noticed that you can't put saltwater plants in a freshwater tank. You need special freshwater ones for that. On the other hand, items like caves and rocks can be put on either type of tank, with the exception of live rocks. Another difference is that protein skimmers do not work on freshwater tanks, and it probably goes without saying that you can't connect saltwater and freshwater tanks with pumps. Remember to use the toggle to switch between them. So that is that. Do we get... yes, the next chapter. The owner is pleased with your first tank, but they are impatient to see more. Now you have your final objective. You must increase the overall variety of freshwater animals in the aquarium and also ensure your freshwater exhibits are central in your aquarium's design. A certain proportion of prestige must come from your freshwater displays. The first step is to reach rank 5 to increase your access to freshwater animals. You'll still need to build saltwater tanks to increase your overall prestige. Also keep an eye on your message log, as you will be offered opportunities to access more animals and objects by completing optional objectives. Good luck! So uh, there we go, remember to check your message log. So I think a little bit more polish on the player information has been done. Uh, you, you are a freshwater creature, so we are going to grab you. For now though, the guests are going to need some, you know, facilities. So um, let's take a bench uh, right away and it's going to be one of our first things that we add. It's going to be benches uh, here and there so that guests can easily find somewhere to sit. I kind of do want to make the benches face uh, the tanks because I think that looks okay. That, that should uh, be pretty nice. Wish you could change the color of the benches but since we can't, we might as well uh, just let them do whatever. Since this is a wall here, I'm just going to use it to put uh, the, you know, bins and the trash stuff. I do want a bin somewhere else, like, like here. And uh, maybe on the corner here. Actually, that's too much. That's way too close to the other one, so we'll put it over here. Yeah, that works. We're going to need toilets, obviously. Uh, I'm going to put the first one... Oh, I want it right at the entrance, though. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad because, you know, toilets, the people need them. could put one here, uh, put tanks on either side. I think that is valid. So I will do that. I'm gonna need a bit of a closet for cleaning supplies though, so I might as well also do that over here. And we need to be like that and that. Yes, good. Uh, we now grab a staff door and there's already a guest being naughty. Good thing we can pick them up. And now we grab the broom stand and the sponge tank. And that's a good, mostly centralized closet for those things. I do have one staff that can clean, so that's fine. Most of them are just uh, doing their thing over here. That tank does look nice. 
Uh, so we do need, you know, to make sure that we are getting as much prestige as possible from each tank. Uh, so, you know how I like to do it, I just, um, you know, I decorate the heck out of my tanks, basically. So we're gonna grab some rocks for there. We will put a conch. Not sure if this kind of conch would even be allowed in that, but whatever. And the shell. Uh, where do I want that shell? Uh, actually, let's move these rocks. Yeah, there we go. And then we add the shell over in the corner over there. Lovely, I think. I mean, it's a little bit predictable where things are, but... It's gonna work. It's gonna be nice. Uh, let's take a look at... not our money. Our guest thoughts. Are they missing anything? No, they, they really like what we have. Over here we have Lord Bright Coral... Royal Gammas and Coral. So... we're gonna grab some saltwater stuff. Um, yeah, let's have an anchor that matches like the floor and stuff. And um, maybe a sea lettuce. At least one. Oh, is it over here? Over there? I think over here. As people come in. Yeah, that looks nice, but we we're gonna try and add some prestige that this one looks okay I think over here this one needs a little bit of greenery but since it's a deeper one I, I'm just I'm gonna add kelp and there we go that already makes it look much much prettier so how much space is left in the tanks because <laughs> that is uh, that is key isn't it so in this tank, specifically, we have room for 10 more animal size, I, I suppose. That's how you would, you would say. Which means, could we add 3 more? 3 times 2 is 6, so yes, we probably could. Uh, let's grab more guppies. There we go, and now they need a little bit more plant, and that's fine. We can help them with that. Uh, makes the, the plants look a bit a bit too close together, but that's, that's okay. We can move this way. Yeah, that, that's okay. They're kind of on that corner, but that's fine. So now we have four left. The convicts, four or in a pair, and they take three, so no. And I like more guppies, I suppose. But I don't think they... at least five. Okay, so we can add, like, two more. And again, we're gonna need to add more plants. So that maxes out our tank and should be fine. And we have unlocked the uh, Midas uh, Cichlid, I think. I think that's what you call them. Uh, now I want the lionfish because uh, they're they're easier to put around than the the other one than the grouper. Midas Cichlids are territorial, which means they can share a tank with each other, but only up to a point. Now this is one of the new tank requirements in the expansion. If you cram too many of them into small tank, they'll start to fight. Uh, so we'll have to do, to take a look at that one for now. I do want to keep uh, looking at these. Like for example, uh, over here we have 12 out of 23 with some corals. Let's take a look at the salt water. You could ask uh, like more king demoiselles or a dotty bag. No. No, 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 cannot be housed with uh, body bags and grandmas and anthias. So no, the soldier fish needs a cave. So no lights, which this tank does have. The yellow tank, we already have one. 
Now this one could be okay. Stony corals. What kind of coral are you? Soft. So yes, we can add the butterfly fish over there. Uh, two of them? Yeah, we can. And they do have food for them, so their requirements are well met. And that, that will help out with, um, you know, make, uh, making the tank a little bit more prestigious. Uh, where is my condenser, though? I, th I think, do think we have one of those toggle? No. No. Also no. Okay, I guess guess I imagined that. I thought there was a way to just like condense them more, but that's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, over here we have enough room for something that's size five. I mean, I guess I could put in another butterfly fish. It would fit well here. And the way the prestige works, it wouldn't be so bad. Uh, stunning pearls, blend baby. And there's there's crabs. Could also put in crabs, unless one of these eats crustaceans, which that one doesn't. Do you eat crustaceans? No. Crustaceans? Crustaceans? No. You just eat clams and stuff. So can I add hermit crabs? I can. I just then need to add better filtering, which uh, it's not that bad. I can just uh, grab another basic filter. Nope. Nope. No, I don't. I grab another power filter. Also no. Fine. Large filter. Yeah, almost there. Uh, maybe is a protein skimmer. Yeah, there we go. That that works. So this tank now <laughs> has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, it's a big tank uh, with a lot of uh, nice little um, colorful fish. Oh, I can see the stuff set over there. Isn't that pretty? Look at the the hermit crabs going. Oh, wow! I can go into the tank in this mode. It's that's great. That, yeah, I'm a fish now. Loop loop. Oh boy. Uh, they gave me too much power. Gave me too much power with that mouth. Uh, anyway... You're almost ready <laughs> rank 5 just out of uh, saltwater animals. This one has room for something that is size 2. You know what? I'm having another. Uh, wait, no. I think the longhorn... No, it did starfish. Good, okay. Not enough space in the tank, so this one actually, no, we do not want to um, make them a thing. Okay, so these could not grow up because not that big. Um, and yeah, and this one wants, wants us to uh, buy a, a new stuffs and okay I have not that let's continue the research I guess I could make this tank wider a little bit and then just widen the rest of the aquarium with it like two more um it would require well pausing for one that I can just move this... Oh, it comes with the... the stuff. That's... that's not ideal. I can't put it anywhere now. Ah. Okay. We'll just... Uh, make some more room over here and I will move this tank. It's only because I am just replacing it. Like with the... Uh, wider? Longer? Wait, what? Why is it not going... Oh, it's a deep observer tank, isn't it? 
Yeah, here we go. So that one should be able to go this size. Here we go. Uh, not great, I, I don't think. Let's uh, make sure we move these things around. Just a little bit. Uh, including the guests. Y'all are not supposed to be here. And now we will take these and add them to that one. There we go. Uh, these things will definitely need more uh, than that. We will take the, um, the fish, put them all in here, and of course we'll do the same for the decorations. Since I don't particularly want to change the, the general layout of stuff, I uh, yeah, I already fucked up. Um, over there, you, okay, that, and that should be okay. We are free to destroy that one, and that is our new ultra wide tank. Now, it does need more water quality, but it does have room now for everything to grow, and that protein skimmer should do the trick. We will see if we can grow those, those poor things. Well, let's see here. We have a corkscrew phallus, uh, so we will buy those. And the Bozeman's Rainbow. It's a truly delightful freshwater species. Can be a little tricky to keep mine. Needs lots of foliage and some open space to shoal. Of course, the two don't always go together. So it needs to be in a group of at least five. Each has a size of three, so three times five, that's 15. And it needs a two by two square of open space. Now, is that per fish or? Um, yeah. Okay, so oh, we get we get it as an objective. Okay, so let's build a freshwater tank with fifteen uh, decoration, open space two by two, and sufficient heating. I mean, I don't see the big issue. I think I could probably do that with um. With a wall tank. Uh, or not. Uh, let's go with the deep wall tank then. I know guests are just being naughty, as usual. Because guests gonna guest, I suppose. I'm gonna need more room around here, and then there they go, complaining that they can see things they're not supposed to see. I really wish we had a duplicate button so that uh, we could. Just duplicate the stuff doors. I don't know why I put another one there, to be honest. It should be a wall. Uh, but that's fine. It, it costs about the same, I think. And there's never too much uh, stuff entry points. As far as I'm concerned. So we're gonna need a little bit more of open space there. There we go. Um, so we need the, the plants that we bought. So that's... Oh, three! Okay, so that's everything in this rank. We will... We'll put them in the front. And let's do... Like that. And then... But, uh, yeah, it's only gonna have one two by two, but we'll line it like that. Uh, sufficient heating. Oh, we're ranking up! Rank five. Mostly salt water. Uh, so we can now do a chocolate vending machine. We have another paint. We have more things to... Actually, we have two more paints. We have more things to use as decorations and stuff, and we can research some 
good stuff. Nice job getting to rank 5! You can now unlock a bunch of new freshwater animals using your ecology, that's not all. From this rank onwards you have access to accessories, powerful new tools to help optimize your aquarium. Accessories can be equipped on staff to improve their performance. Oh! Now that is... I didn't know that was uh, added to the game. I had no idea. So I will just go left to right, uh, except here, because I do want a backpack dispenser, yes. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, but let's uh, just finish uh, this tank real quick, because we are running out of time. Uh, and therefore... Yeah, there we go. We'll just take our fish. And uh, yes, I immediately paused because that was the start of a day. Uh, and uh, thankfully they were just removed from my cursor and not actually killed. Okay, so they, they do, they need these things. Uh, I'll move move those so that they're like half, halfway between each tank uh, so that staff can get them easier but that was a good tank um, and we got all the requirements for them complete like pretty easy that's what that looks rather nice uh, so yeah that is all the time I have for this episode if you enjoyed it please subscribe for more mega aquarium freshwater frenzy and leave a like and uh, support the channel there's a patreon down below click it don't, don't just don't forget that here there be dragons thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible click the patreon logo to become one of these fine folk and if you enjoyed the video here are some more youtube things you would like don't forget to like this video and subscribe have a lovely day and i'll see you next time